What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I guide you to unlocking the secrets of the forges in terms of a quest line many believe including myself will either reward you an exotic weapon or will open up the fourth forge. But before we go any further guys if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe okay so since the black armory has been released each week we have had a new forge each forge offers a certain weapon each weapon is used to decrypt a message within the first forge the Rondor forge luckily thanks to those smart bastards over on the reddit destined to red secrets page the code and what we have so far has been correct each week via the weapon you unlock from the newest forge a code within the first forge can be seen when aiming down sights but also besides these codes seen via aiming down sites within the Rolandor Forge where all this happens there are what seems to be dormant drones, three in total. From the start these we knew were eventually going to be interactive somehow. Today I will show you guys exactly how to interact with each and then to find a new message which appears on a TV once these drones have been interacted with and we're also going to decipher that code. Now firstly you have to do as said in completing at least three forges so far. In the Vandor, the Gold Fanon, and there is an army. These need to be completed while you are chasing the weapon schematics, the heavy machine gun, the sniper rifle and the bow. These are the three weapons you need, hence why you have to complete the three forges. So once these three weapons have been obtained, you need to head to the Rondor Forge on Earth. Now most people have been doing this week by week, as one forge opens, they have been cracking these codes and collecting those emblems. If that is you, this video will still help you on that third code and emblem, but it's also a guide for those who may have missed a code. I wanted to include them all within a single video which we know so far, as it makes sense all three are needed to actually activate these drones. Okay, so the first code to crack an emblem to obtain you need to be using the hammerhead heavy machine gun. This was the first Volandor Forge weapon schematic and is needed for this puzzle. Now because I've already posted a guide on this puzzle I will just go ahead and replay part of that video which shows you exactly how to do this. I do take my time so it is simple to follow so check it out. For this you will be rewarded that first Emblem. Okay, so if you're interested in this emblem or just want to see how this is solved, this is what you have to do. Firstly, stand in this area you can see me in on screen now. While you are here, with your hammerhead at hand, aim down sights and shoot this flame symbol. Once you've done that, if you look here upon the floor, you will see this sun symbol. Here you have to stand directly on this sun symbol, so get center of it and make sure of that. Then stand in this spot and don't move. The following sequence of symbols you have to shoot, you need to from this position on this sun symbol. So from here, shoot this plus symbol located here first. Then shoot the letter U located here. Then the letter L. Then shoot the letter F located here. Then the letter B located here. Then the letter E located here. Then the letter R located here. Then the letter H located here. And then T located here. And then the plus symbol located here once again. Upon doing this, you need to locate this moon symbol upon this rock next to your current position. Again, like with the sun, you have to be standing directly on this moon symbol to shoot the second sequence. So make sure you are in place and you are ready for that second sequence of symbols you have to shoot. So firstly, from this spot, shoot the plus symbol first. Then the letter U. Then the 
and then they let it out then the letter F then the letter B then the letter E then R and then H and then the plus symbol again then T and then shoot this cloud or stormy symbol upon this rock face now upon doing this, if you've done this right and you've got the sequence right, you will get this exclusive emblem pop up on your screen. And it is people as simple as that. Okay, so the second puzzle within the Volume Door Forge requires you to be using the Forge Sniper Rifle, the Tatara Gaze. This is a weapon rewarded from a schematic associated with the Gold Phantom Forge. So if you have this and haven't done the puzzle yet, again, in the Volandor Forge, you need to go to the very back of the room next to this TV, which eventually gives us a new clue. There is a Tiger logo here, up on this box, so stand up on here and make sure you are standing on this Tiger's face. So with the sniper equipped, look down to your left on this ramp. There is a fish symbol, shoot it. Then, the pillar next to the forge, there is a leaf symbol, shoot that. Next up, you need to do almost a 180, as the next symbol is behind you located on the screen now, shoot it. You now have to jump off this box and go and stand on this dragon's face, just down to your left. So standing on this dragon's face, you need to scope into where you actually enter the forge, and on this box or crate, you will see this symbol here, shoot away. Next up, located above you, Bugs Bunny. Shoot him in the face. Once you've killed Bugs Bunny, turn to your left and on these rocky pillar things, you'll see this symbol right here, shoot away. You then guys need to spin around again and shoot that symbol which was behind you, as I do on screen now. After shooting this last symbol, you are then rewarded this second emblem. Okay, so now we are ready for the third and the newest emblem called Puzzle Reward. So for this, you need to have got the Spiteful Fang Bow, which is rewarded via a schematic tied with the latest forge. It is an army forge. So with this bow in hand, within the Volandor Forge, this is what you need to do. So from where you literally enter this forge area, here you will see this butterfly on the floor. You need to stand on this butterfly to get that butterfly effect. Damn, 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 such a great old school movie. So standing on this butterfly, you firstly have to shoot this symbol just right of you. People call these trees. I mean, to me, they look more like lollipops, but either way, shoot them. You then need to do a 180 and lock on this rocky pillar and shoot this well, what looks to be a pages symbol. Then down to your left on the floor, there is a half sun symbol. This you need to stand on. So once stood here, look directly in front of you and you will see this heart symbol in front of you. You need to shoot this symbol twice. Once you have shot this symbol twice, you then need to do a 180 and shoot those lollipops again. And finally, the last symbol to shoot is located behind and above you, a pair of wings. So look up and shoot away. You will then be rewarded your third emblem and you are done with shooting shit. So next up, let's go and activate those drones. Because you've done all three puzzles, you can now interact with all three drones and turn them on. Each you can see located on screen now.
So once you've interacted with all three, you want to head to that TV at the back of the room. You will see now that there is a cryptic message on it. Again, those smart bastards over on Red Secrets have already translated this, and this is what it reads. With eyes fixed, past dawn ends, the fourth flame will rise, bring the knowledge obtained to the raiders of secrets, steal thyself. Now this to me reads about the Four Forge, so I'm guessing this entire process of what we just did in shooting symbols and activating drones will be needed to be done in order to lock this fourth forge. That is my guess, I could be wrong, I most probably am, or it could be something else like an exotic weapon quest to kickstart it or maybe the reward for doing a fourth puzzle will reward you an exotic weapon. We know there are a few in the game now still which we haven't seen anything of. We've got the sniper rifle, the arm blaster. The exotic bowl, which I know has been dropping from uh, forges, but it was supposed to be a part of their quest. So we will see, people, we will see. It could also be something more, we don't know. There are a few more hidden symbols all over the forges, so this could be a part of them too, which don't know yet. But if anything interesting does come, guys, I'll have you covered right here on my channel, that is for sure. But yeah guys, if all this is needed to unlock the Four Forge, which many people believe, I suggest you get to work as you don't want to be doing all of this to unlock the Four Forge on the day of its release. Damn, that would be some work. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, like guides, top fives, gameplays, reviews, just about everything, make sure you subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But again, Thanks for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.